All right, so Ride Bozo, it's a Sunday today, and Ride Bozo decided that uh, despite the fact that there are no leaves on the driveway, he just had to take out his uh, leaf blower, whip it out, and uh, contribute to that patch between the driveway and the lawn that he just keeps obsessively blowing over. You know, it's like someone who picks up their skin or hair, and it just creates a, a, a receding sort of thing. Okay, that's what he's doing to his lawn, all right? Um, so I was hearing that, 9.50, woke up a little earlier, I guess, or maybe I was already sort of awake to where I was like, what is this noise? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm still getting over a bit of a cold, but, um, but I, I was, I was hearing the, the, uh, what do you call it? The leaf blower. I'm like, oh, it's that. And I had a white noise machine going, but you could still hear it. And it was just enough for me to, to keep me awake and just agitated. So I run to the window. I open the blind, uh, you know, the spyway, just open it up. But I couldn't record him doing it. You know, he was. it was just at the end of it. But I trust me, he was using his leaf blower to also blow his lawnmower. So apparently I didn't wake up to the lawnmower going off, even though it's a gas one, and I just, the, the very high-pitched electric blower squeal, I, I was awakened to that, so that's wonderful. I, I have some, I have a minute video, maybe I'll add it after this, who knows, who cares. So but we're going to be looking at a video today called How to Use a Leaf Blower and Still Get Along with Your Neighbors, and a spoiler alert, there's no way to use a leaf blower and still get along with your neighbors unless it was like every two weeks at a scheduled time you can do it and nowhere in the world do you have that we're going to look at some cities uh, i think what brookline massachusetts one of these kind of hippie kind of liberal towns uh but even there where they're like oh we care about the environment yeah that bullshit they don't care they can't even do basic things but we'll get to that another time or mayfield new jersey i think it's mayfield new jersey it's one of these uh, fake sounding names uh, anyway, so let's get into, it's an Australian, so this is an Australian in Australia, not to be confused with an American in Japan and uh, other videos I like to look at on certain other websites. But the point is, the point is, how do you use a, use a leaf floor and still get along with your neighbors? Uh, spoiler alert, there's no way, but let's see how, all right? <laughs> It wasn't that long ago that the only way you even thought about cleaning up around the yard and garden was using one of these. Now it seems that just about everyone has a leaf blower and they love using them. Yes. Now, my complaint is you have a rake, you have a broom. Why not just use those, right? I mean, right, Bozo, over here, uh, we took a video where there was a rake resting against the tree here. So you could just use those because, again, we're talking about a small little courtyard or something. It's bricked up anyways. It would be a breeze to just, what do you call it, use a, a rake. Because, again, the leaf blower, it blows it away. It does not actually collect it, okay? Because a rake would, you know, scoop it into one big place and it would be easier to scoop it up. But, you know, left bozo, right bozo, all of these people who use it, a lot of the times they don't even bother picking it up, right? They just blow it somewhere. Really, the problem isn't leaf blowers. It's more how they use... No, 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 it is. It is. The problem is leaf blowers because even if this guy's going to make the case of, oh, well, you know, if you do it in a, a semicircular fashion, then, oh, it's going to be better because it's going to take less time. Yeah, but it still is two, three minutes of, of this this uh indeterminable suffering and for anybody listening to this is oh is it a bozo using it for half an hour i mean there's already no leaves you know plus the other part of it is you know th this guy had tons of leaves in the courtyard over here right tons of leaves the bozo over here never has leaves okay it's barely any leaves but he still has to do it so part of this is okay if people use the leaf floor every other month okay fine but that's not what happens. ...used. Now I've got a few leaf blower tips for you that might just make using your blower a little bit easier and more efficient and might make you a better, quieter... And that looks like, that looks like a gas blower, which is a, a handheld gas blower. Look at it, because there's a little white, transparent little tube. I think that's where the gas goes, right? Electric ones don't have any, any liquid input there, right? 
that looks gassy. A gas. Now this guy's in Australia, so I, I don't think I've seen handheld gas ones. I don't think I've seen them here. Quieter neighbor. Now before you start blowing, you'll want to do a couple of things. Uh, this way, that way. Work out the way you intend to blow so that you can try and concentrate all of your blowing towards one direction. So That's if you've got multiple house. pathways, make them all come towards one point. This will make it much easier to collect all of your material and it saves you wasting time by blowing back over the top of a clean area. Yeah, if you're near the house, close the windows and doors. This will keep out some noise and any dust you might kick up. Oh, yeah, and, and I, I love this because here in Houston, it's going to be 100 degrees again. But, you know, in the spring and fall when leaf blowers are even more obnoxious, hey, let me open the windows because it's nice and... Well, you know, leaf blower guy knows to close his own windows, but I don't, you know, and you actually have complaints in other areas that aren't nearly as hot where people still routinely open their windows for some fresh air. And then you get this shit, not only the noise, but you can't get any fresh air in, you know, and it's like, oh yeah, be sure to close your windows and doors because you're going to be making a fucking mess of the place. You know, it's like, well, uh, Walk through the area you plan to blow and pick up any larger things like twigs and branches and move big stuff out of the way. An important thing to remember is that blowers are not the might kick up. Walk through the area you plan to blow and pick up any larger things like twigs and branches and... Okay, so this is, we have to close the doors, close the windows, annoy every neighbor because this area, I mean, judging by, that guy's about, what, six feet? Okay. So this is maybe, what, a 12, 15 foot area, 12, a 12 by 12, 50 by 15. I mean, this would take what, five minutes? You get most of it with, um, you get most of it with a, a, a rake, uh, a big plasticky one or whatever you have, uh, those hard plastic ones, and the rest of it with a broom. What, why, oh, well, we need to prepare this and oh my God, why? And then you don't make any noise. You don't have to close your own fucking windows, you know? And move big stuff out of the way. An important thing to remember is that blowers are not the proverbial blunt instrument. They are actually supposed... They are. They are the blunt instrument. They are a blunt is instrument. ...supposed to be a finishing tool for doing the fine work once you've finished all the other bulk stuff. Start your... Okay. Now, hold on. I don't know. I, I, I think I saw this a long time ago. I've seen this one before, okay? Notice what he has around his neck, Okay. He actually has pretty high, you know, I actually have these right by my bed. Instead of getting pissed off, I probably should have just put them on and it wasn't that loud with the white noise machine, but he has, he has these uh, noise protecting things on over here, right? So it's like, wait a second, you have to close your doors, you have to close your windows, you have to make this an engineering project of let's clear everything out of the way. And then you have to use these ear protectors. Well, are, are you providing one for everybody in the neighborhood? You know, I, I was, and the professional crews often use these too. You know, it's like, oh, so this hurts your ears? Hmm, I wonder if anybody else has ears, you know? Unfucking believable thing to remember is that blowers are not the proverbial blunt instrument. They are actually supposed to be a finishing tool for doing the fine work once you've finished all the other bulk stuff. Start your blower up, and if it's a cold start, just let it run on idle for about a minute or so before you go revving it up to maximum velocity. As you work over an area, don't move in a straight line. Use more of a semicircular or arc-like pattern. When you work like this, you're focusing the material towards one point. And remember, you don't need to be running your blower on full bore all the time. Back off on the throttle a little bit and just use little bursts of... Yeah, use little bursts so it sounds even more annoying, right? I mean, there's a debate about is it worse to just, just continue to run it? Or, right, because it's just this whiny up and down and... Ugh. And again, we're, we're talking about an area that looks... I mean, it's, it, it depth perception is tricky with videos, but... I mean, judging by how big this guy is, this guy's what, a little under six feet, about six feet? That is the average height of humans, uh, as I know, as a fellow human. And um, I mean, this guy could lie down there and uh, two of them could lie down. That's about 12 feet, 10, 12 feet. I don't think it's even 15. Across, it's maybe a little longer. So again, we're talking 150 square feet. <sighs> 
I mean, how long would it take to actually do the, uh, do the uh, steps over on the top right with some brooms and then do rakes for all the rest of it? And if, and if whatever little leafage remains, you could use a broom for that. I mean, who cares, you know? Because the other thing is, oh, it's so clean with the leaf floor. Oh, it's so wonderful. Yeah, for the five uh, hours before another leaf falls down, right? That's the problem with these things is, oh, it's so good. Yeah, and, and you have to do it every five hours to maintain that level of no leafage anywhere. Okay. See, I can hear the birds. I don't know if it's coming through. I can hear the leaf, uh, the birds, you know, because it's nice and glassy here, and I like that. It's pretty rare that the birds get annoying for me. Sometimes there's like a, a, a massive storm of them here, but even that's not annoying. It's like, okay, come on, guys, but it's kind of fun. It's like, what are they doing here? I, I'm planning on, uh, when it gets a little cooler, I should have done it earlier, but throwing a bunch of wildflowers here, since I'm kind of wilding this backyard here and, and just not bothering with it anymore. Uh, I might do that, but it's too hot and it hasn't rained. It might be droughty. Anyways, let's move on. So power, they can be really effective. As material builds up, don't try to push them out. Notice, notice that even though this is the professional telling you how to do it, did you see the error he committed? Any housewife, okay, any housewife knows the error that he committed here. Let's let's see it again. If If you are a housewife, who knows what she's doing, or he, because I cook and clean everywhere here, okay, and no one appreciates it, okay, but the point is, what is the error that he committed here? And this is, we actually did a video on, on Right Bozo doing the same concept error here. Let's see, okay, there's an error here that was done, and yes, he's using a leaf blower, he didn't blow his brains out, okay, that's all errors this guy and Right Bozo continually commit. They continue to exist, they continue to use leaf blowers, but they're even using the logic of leaf blowers as, oh, they're okay, they're not, but using that logic, what is the error that was committed here? Let's go back 10 seconds. Oh, I'm clicking on myself. Okay, there's an error here. In fact, it kind of gives it away that I have to drag my my uh, my video away. But let's see what the error is. Let's see if you can spot it. Don't need to be running your blower on full bore all the time. Back off on the throttle a little bit and just use little bursts of power. They can be really effective. As material builds up, don't try to push them. So the error was that over here on the uh, oh boy, you know what? Let's do John Madden style brush over here you saw that he was blowing the below the first step and then he went above it to blow the second step the problem is you end up leaving leaves the top step um goes to the bottom then you have to do it again and you actually see there's still a couple leaves there because of it it got blown from the top to the bottom so i said housewives because the point is that if you're dusting around the house, the rules always, you gotta start from the top. So for example, if you were to do a nice full clean in this house and you wanted to do that can light, you wanted to do the fan, you do those first because everything from that falls down. Let's say it falls down to that thing above the uh, fireplace. Uh, okay, or you, you do the top of the painting, you do the, the um, uh, you do the th the mantle, I guess, above the fireplace. You do that little outline above the fire. You you go top to bottom, right? Because what falls from the top falls to the bottom. So if you do, you know, the cabinets here or something, or uh, the uh, book bookshelf, and then you're like, oh, I forgot to do the fan. Well, you do the fan, and then it falls on the bookshelf again. And that's exactly what he did here. Is he did the first step, the bottom step, and then he did the top step. Right, and we've seen Right Bozo do the same thing here, right? Where he goes and does the driveway that doesn't really have any leaves on it. He does his truck, the truck bed, and then he does the driveway again because the truck bed has some stuff that fell to the. Uh, just I can't even, you know. Let's just move on. Pounds of stuff along with the airstream. That's not what blowers are designed to do. If I keep trying to blow push this pile, I'll be running on full bore for five minutes. 
But if I grab the rake, it'll take me less than 30 seconds to get rid of the pile. Okay, so here's another concept. Instead of using the leaf blower to make a giant pile of leaves half-acidly, you could just use the rake. You know, you, you could stand in the center of this courtyard or a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and you can get every corner of this little courtyard and then you don't have to use the leaf floor and it would take just as many it would take about as much time because you're still gonna fuck up the leaf blower. oh let me chase after this leaf that leaf and that's it and you're you're still having to buy a rake because even this guy's like all right fine if you have a big pile of it it's easier to now i actually use a big snow shovel uh when you have a big pile now i rake everything you rake it into a big pile and you use a big uh snow shovel a big metal one to scoop it into your bag okay very easy i to get back to fast efficient blowing when you're working near walls don't blow towards them blow along them otherwise you end up with all the muck back in your face and likewise with windy days or windy locations blow across the wind or blow with it but don't try and blow into it otherwise you'll end up with a mess all back in your face most blowers use petrol driven two or four strokes you know what is not impacted as much by the wind a rake if you're keeping everything close to the ground you know unless it's a hurricane the rake is not going to have any issues with the wind but the problem is the minute you propel individual leaves a couple feet into the air then the wind is gonna have an issue with it okay it's just that simple so a rake does not face as many of these issues okay stroke engines but now the battery technology has improved cordless electric models like this 40 volt are an excellent option this is, see this is what's what i hate about these electric blowers yesterday uh far 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 left bozo um three houses down to the left over behind me right here so we'll call him far 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 left bozo uh yeah he was using an electric blower and i was like what the fuck is going on here i i can hear something i can hear something so i go outside i look around and it's it's some electric sounding blower and sure enough uh, it is coming from four houses down. Now, thankfully, it only lasted three, four minutes. I don't know. He was just waving it in the air like a lunatic. Uh, maybe his car. It's like, a guy, come on. Your car. But I, and I measured on Google Maps. If you use desktop Google Maps, you can right-click, measure distance, and see how far it is. From where I was standing naked in my robe uh, on the patio area or whatever, the stair area here, um it was about 200 feet you know and it's like okay i i was hearing it inside my house i wasn't outside trying to enjoy coffee because how could you ever do that knowing idiots like this live here why would you even attempt that anymore you know i was sitting inside my house minding my own business listening to some podcast or some youtube thing and i could still hear it where it's like where's this coming from and that's 200 feet with these oh they're so efficient electric blowers oh the technology my point is you can tell the difference between the electric ones and the gas ones in some ways i would almost prefer the gas ones if you told me you had to pick one and you can just beat somebody with the leaf blower who was using them if that was my choice you have to listen to electric or gas i would almost choose the gas ones you know because there's just something extra whiny about a close electric blower but let's see let's go back again and this is now 10 minutes i think let's see how many minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes to do two minutes of a video i mean i you know i just astound myself as to how i don't shut the fuck up i'm like a leaf blower of humans no two or four stroke engines but now the battery technology has improved cordless electric models like this 40 volt are an excellent option that is very similar they're also that's very similar to um to right bozo over here all right he has a red toro machine um although this looks like it's cordless as well yeah he says uh it's corded but all of these electric ones have a very similar uh thing to them yes so much lighter and easier to handle 
because they have this fan horizontally mounted, it means that you don't get the gyroscopic action that you can sometimes get with petrol-driven blowers that can leave them wobbling a little bit if you tilt them off on an angle. They're certainly quieter than petrol-powered, and you don't have the hassles of having... No, but they're not. They're not quieter. They, they, they might be on a decibel rating, you know, in that objective sense, quieter. But the fact that they make a slightly higher, more annoying sound... Uh, they make another kind of sound that's worse in that respect. It just the decibel measurements might not capture that high pitched annoyingness to them, though. Okay. Of having to mix and store fuel and pull starting, just juice up from the mains, click on the battery, and they're blowing at the flick of a switch. So what to do with all the collected stuff? You can put it straight into the compost, but just make sure you balance ground material like this oh, with an yeah. equal volume of you know, green material. Everyone is just so conscientious putting their uh, their yeah leaves into the compost. Oh yes, in the compost bit at the back of the yard. It's I don't know why he sounds British. That's more of a British accent, isn't it? But the point is, yeah, these ads, they're just gonna blow it all over the street here. Oh, you know, the compost bin. Be sure to be environmentally friendly. Oh yeah, okay, I'm sure. Green material like lawn clippings. I'm thinking my local leaf collecting brush turkey is somewhat sure, envious of my leaf. I'm sure the turkeys appreciate, you know, the leaf blowers and the sounds and everything else. I'm sure. Gathering capabilities. Many blower models also come with a vacuum kit. You can use this to suck the material up and then you can add that to the compost or put it straight onto garden. You know, of course, um, I, I had a red Toro machine at the old house um, before I, I became wise to not using these myself either. But it did have a compost function. Those take a little longer to suck up, but I actually tried those for a while. And um, they actually make less annoying sounds, you know, but, you know, whatever. So Garden beds is mulch. And one last set of tips. Safety gear. Now, blowers may not seem that loud, but it's the sustained... Who says they might not be that loud? Who says they? That's what this this whole video is about. Well, oh, they're not that bad. They're not that loud. Who's saying they're not that loud? Even the people operating it say they're loud. Noise that does the damage, not the one-off. So earmuffs, good quality ones, are an absolute must. I'd highly recommend some decent safety glasses. Personally, I like to... Oh, right, because you're propelling things at hurricane force winds, so you got to have protection on it. You know what doesn't require, like, OSHA-level training uh, to operate? A rake, which you already have, Aussie guy, okay? You already have a rake. You don't need goggles for it okay you don't need earmuffs for a rake you probably don't need uh what do you call it a glove for it i mean that's just a lady's glove anyways you don't need that anyways but the point is you don't need any of this extra get up for using um a rake which you already have and say well it's actually more efficient to use a rake for two-thirds of this anyways to wear gloves, they cut the vibration a little bit. Also very handy when you've got to pick stuff up off the ground. And of course, decent footwear goes without saying. So happy blowing and hopefully happy neighbors. So we're gonna see, we're gonna rewind this because, oh, happy neighbors, oh, happy neighbors. It's like, nope, that doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Happy neighbors can be had if you use the rake that you already have and only the rake that you have, uh, Aussie guy. You know, an Australian in Australia. Let's let's rewind 10 seconds because we got to see this. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy neighbors. Brr. Good Lord. And of course, decent footwear goes without saying. So happy blowing and hopefully happy neighbors. <laughs> Unbelievable. So anyways, that's it. I'm, I'm winded from just doing this and uh, I just can't even. All right, so it's 9.50. I wake up and guess what I'm hearing? Well, uh, left bozo who's still here, uh, or no, right bozo, sorry, um, is leaf blowing his uh, lawnmower. 
Let's see what he's doing now. Okay, you see that black thing on the lawn sticking out? That's the leaf blower. And again, there was literally nothing on the driveway yesterday. He was doing the usual thing right before he went to leaf blow the lawnmower, because he's not mentally insane, was that little area between the driveway and the lawn. Yeah. Um, that little strip. Yeah, just mindlessly OCD blowing at it. You know, and it's like, oh, perfect. I don't know. Just just blowing it. You know. 